hate to say it to ya, hate to break it to ya, but we ain't gon' make it cause this just ain't no true love, uh -huh. yeah we started out as friends, uh -huh. parked out in my bins, yeah. and on my windows 10, so we start to get it in, <laughs> fast forward now we arguing again, again, and, again, again and again and again, over every little thing, I'm, I'm like when will it end, something told me get to rolling, pack your shit and hit the 10, so that's just what I did, yep I slid up out that bitch, but before I hit the road, at least I leave a little note, like to hear it, hear it go, bitch don't choke on my smoke, cause I'm gone, cause I'm gone, adios, adios, am I partially or hardly sorry, no, dominoes, gotta go, gotta go. All right, welcome back, Lunch Factor folks. We know it's been a while, but this is the beginning of season six, episode one. We've got some familiar faces and some new ones. So to my left, we have Brum. She is the owner of a fashion line called Truth 985. Look it up on Instagram. Next to her, we have Simone. She is a creator and a model. We have Stoney. Stoney is the creator and owner of Stuzo, which is where we are sitting right now. You can see them almost everywhere. <laughs> Over there, we have Brandy. She is our favorite rapper, West Coast. Represent all day, every day. We have Lynette. She is the host of Politic and Lynn. You can find that on TikTok, all things politics. She will talk to you about. Next to her, we have Shelly Shell. She's a comedian and host of Let's Talk Radio. You can find that on YouTube. You can find her wherever the stage is open. All right, to my right, we have Garia. She is a domestic goddess, AKA hey. lesbian housewives. Housewives do exist, all right? And as always, I'm Erin, host of The Less Factor. Let's get started. So this episode is called The L and LGBT is Not Silent. I feel like a lot of times, you know, we're left out of the conversation, like lesbians don't exist or something. So the first qu question was, lesbians seem to be a dying breed. Are they all converting? I feel like everybody is dating and engaged to or with men. Like, what is really going on? What are your thoughts, Brum? Oh, wow. Do you know any people who've converted? Or, you know, do you feel like lesbians are a dying breed? Like, they're not out there? No, I think they're out there. Um, I don't know too many lesbians that have converted, so I can't really like heavily speak on the topic, but I think that they're still out there. Okay, you don't sound convincing though. No, I, th I, I, think, <laughs> <laughs> I think there's still a lane for us. Okay. We, we, still, we still out there. You make it sound like a Yeti, like we, they sell out there somewhere, but I got you. <laughs> Simone? I think they, are, they still exist. Um, I know some people that have converted, and I know some people that have come back. Okay. Okay. So both, it's, it's out there. We out, out there. there. We out there, Stoney. <laughs> we out there. We out there. I think people are um, <clears throat> opening up to their sexuality more these days. I think um, they're finding out about themselves and not, you know, it's it's a nice box to be in. Um, but if you don't want to be in a box, you know, you can venture off. And I think that's the thing that's happening with the world, at least what I'm seeing in my opinion that. You know, we're like, well, maybe I'm not a lesbian. Maybe I also like a, a trans man. Maybe I like this or that. So maybe the <clears throat> the identity is, is changing and, and evolving and growing. But I think we're still very strong out here in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. yeah, I think our presence is being more seen than ever, actually. So I don't feel that there's... More seen than ever how? In mainstream media and it just... In society in general, I've seen a, a huge increase in uh, representation, you know, in television shows, commercials, in all media spaces, you know, where, you know, you can even think 10 years ago it wasn't like that, let alone 20, you know. So I think it's, we're, we're really out there more That's than ever. That's a great point. Lynette? I personally, okay, so... When I think about sexuality, right? Okay. <laughs> I think that when we're younger, we are, especially if you were in a household or in a space where you couldn't necessarily express yourself freely, right? So you spend most of your 20s really figuring that out. Like, if I'm being honest with myself, right? Because sexuality is something very personal to you. And I think that when people have their person, you know, you have your own personal identity, whatever it is that you are sexually, and then you encounter other people. And I heard somebody say, when someone loves me, I don't get to tell them how to love me. I get to let them love me, and then I get to decide whether or not that's the type of love I want to receive, right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like when people are, when we're talking about bisexual, or just our, our community as a whole, right? There are some people that will say to you that I am a lesbian because I'm in a lesbian relationship, and that's the truth. That's not the truth. But, but here's the <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 sexuality. No, because look, 
sexuality, okay, like if I say to myself, I'm being honest with myself, I can say that I am bisexual. But here's here's the realness within myself, because the conversation that we're having is with me. It's not with any of you guys. It doesn't matter what you guys think. It's what I feel, right? So it, when people hear this, the word bisexuality, they say to themselves, oh, well, that person is confused, or they're 50-50, or whatever they might think. It might be fucking 90-10. <laughs> I, I know in my heart that like I'm not I don't think guys are gross I just don't think that in my life I'm gonna end up with a man and that's my truth right I'm engaged to someone who actually feels the exact the same way or, or gonna be engaged to someone who is feels exactly the same way it's something that's just something that is your own it's like you, when I sit down with you my 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 responsibility if I'm sitting down with you right let's say we go out on a date my responsibility in this date is to be real about who I am in this very moment. You ask me what I like, what's going on with me, I tell you. And then you get to decide. Because if you are a lesbian, there are lesbians, right? There are gays, there are bisexuals, there are trans men and women. But if I sit down with you and I tell you the real, and you take that, let's say I'm 70, 30, and you are okay with that because you're like, I like this person. And I want to talk to this person in that manner, right? And I want to be in a romantic relationship with you. You can't continue down that path because you are 100 and get mad at that person. Because if I'm not loyal, it just, it's, that's not something that can be taught. Real can't be taught, right? So if I'm talking to you and I'm being real with you, like, no, I'm attracted to men, but I want to marry you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm and it has nothing to do with, it has nothing to do with, no, I, I just, that's just how I feel. <laughs> That's just how I feel. And it's like, it's not that it's not that it's a negative. It's not that it's a negative. You decide. Because you can sit down with me and I can tell you that and you can say, you know what, that's not for me. Maybe we just cool, you know, being cool. And that's all that it can be. Because this, because what I want is someone who's 100. And it, because that's important to you. But you have to decide that for yourself. But sexuality, that's something that is of your own. No one can tell you what you are or aren't how you are, what you want to do. You really can't tell nobody that. All you can do is be real with somebody and expect them to be real with you in return and to match you where you at. That's great. I don't agree, but Shelly. <laughs> so, are you out there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can oh, are we still out there? That's a tough answer to follow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. oh well, I think, I, think, I think what it is is that the language is changing. I don't think it's the people who have always been experimenting with other people and, and you know, finding what fits for them, as you're saying. I just think that the language, and unfortunately, the word lesbian is now carrying other um, connotations. But uh, when it comes, because like gender is different now, right? So you, you almost can't say girl. <laughs> like, right. you almost can't, because yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you don't want to box somebody into something that they're not. So you, <laughs> You're like, gender is changing, so the word lesbian means girl for girl, and that's changing. But, but I think lesbians are still here. We still in the box, like you said. So, so Some you. of us still choose the box. Okay. We in the box. Mm -hmm. And we mean that literally. Some of us still choose the box. I, so right. I choose the box. <laughs> Gary? Um, I, think, I think that lesbians do exist. Um, I agree with Brandy. There is more representation on TV, but I think maybe in the question, it's like more in our community. Right. So I'll say in our yes. community, no. Lesbians are here, there, everywhere. They're not lesbians okay. anymore. They're bi, they're straight, and then they're back, and then they're back again. <laughs> so it's like, they're being real with themselves. Yeah, but well, they're, 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 they're not being bisexual. bisexual. They're or whatever. They're being bisexual. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's all they are. That's, that's everybody to be else. A lesbian that's, because of the stigma that comes with being other, yeah, right. But I think that, like, I think so that, are you what they you can't think? experiment, like, they can't, like, go well, to, me, they let, if, to me, a lesbian does not experiment with men, okay. to yes. me, true, because a lesbian, to me, as a lesbian woman, when I was single and dating, and I would ask a woman, Are you bi? Are you, what, are you playing around? Are you curious? <laughs> like, what are you doing? And if they would say, Yes, I have relationships mm -hmm. with men, I'd be like, You don't have a relationship with me. Mm -hmm. But that's my personal personal preference. Yeah, I don't want to go behind a man. Now mean? that's very offensive to a lot of bisexuals and you know lesbians or whatever. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, I think it's more like she said a preference thing. If a person is honest, but I also feel like in our community people aren't that honest. Nobody's going on a first date like well I'm seventy percent like women and I'm only thirty. I just think you should like, just be 
clear but about most people what are. you like. Most and, that's, that, and that's a problem, but it's not a sexuality problem, it's a social problem. Like, yeah. no, I mean, I just, for me, I, I believe it is, is, is sexuality and identity problem. My thing is, you can be bi. I don't give a fuck. Right. You can be queer, which I feel like is anything under the rainbow. I feel yeah. like if you say I'm queer, you be fucking anything. Okay? Yeah. Anything. Yeah. That means I'm fucking trans men, well, women, cis, hetero, whatever. It is. Oh, it trust me. The W's be queer as hell. So yeah, the black are queer as hell. Now. Some, some of them, yes. Yeah. But my thing is, if you tell me you're a lesbian, I'm not expecting you to be like, <laughs> I'm engaged to this guy. Like I'm right. not. I'm not right. seeing that coming. Right. I've had cast members hit me up. They're like, I'm gonna be back on, but. You know, you know, but now I'm dating a guy and I'm like, you know, I'm like, but it's the less factor. It's not the LGBTQ factor. I'm like, <laughs> like, that's just facts. Like, that's what the show is. Right. And, you know, for me, I feel like people be dishonest. Like, I think lesbians are out there, but I feel like our voice gets drowned out in all these things. Yeah. Um, I feel like we're there, but like, don't. So like, I'm, there was one girl who told me she was a lesbian. Mind you, she pregnant. She been with her dude for two years. <laughs> I, y'all are laughing. I'm dead ass. I had an argument with this woman in the street because I know her. She saw me. I was at work. At, I was at work. And literally, she was like, oh, you know, we want to talk to you about why. Like, you've been with the dude for two years. She's like, I still identify as a lesbian. I had another cast member hit me up. I feel like my man was a woman in a prior life. I was like, no. Like, I swear. That's not a lesbian. If you were marrying a guy, you were not a lesbian. What messes me up is that people call themselves lesbian. And then they fuck dudes. And then I have dudes, like, I have a coworker who's like, oh, I fuck lesbians all the time. Right. Like, how? Exactly. Sir, sir, no, you were not he, fucking lesbians all the time. He's sweet to bisexual all the time. Does make him a lesbian? No. He is not Drake. He's not Drake. No. I think he's a He's sweet to bisexuals all the time. If bisexuals could, like, sometimes, like, okay, there's, with, within our community, I'm just going to stick to lesbians, okay? Yes. <laughs> You, like I come back to, you have to decide if you're okay with someone being bisexual. Because in that moment where they're deciding to be in a relationship with you, I, you could be in a girl relationship. You could be gay or queer and be in a relationship with somebody. If you if you go both ways, you can give a devil. But, but, yeah, but don't but, call yourself a lesbian. Right, right. right. Yeah, the, the question is like, so. a but it's like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, but it's but it's that's still like, you know, you know, <laughs> Sexuality isn't necessarily an act. It's like who you are. For example, right, so if you give me an example, I'm gonna give you an example. Give me one that I can relate to. Me, right? So I'm with my 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 girl, right? My she's girl amazing. is she's amazing. amazing. She is bisexual. Okay, mm -hmm. that's who she is. Mm -hmm. Does she want to marry me and spend her life with me? Yes. Now she's still bisexual. She's still bisexual. That's fine. That's yeah, what so I'm saying. Like, That's all I'm saying. Into the category of like what we're at. But but but, so like, but, do, but do externally, to, do you have to pick a label? You, like, but is that what people pick for you. Pick, so yeah. when we That's get married, yes, when we get married, it's gonna be a lesbian wedding. Right. That's what you're gonna say. Right. It's not. It, it, it doesn't matter if it's true or not because the bisexuality is housed with her. It's you know what I'm saying. It's housed with the person, and if they're choose, they're choosing. At some point, you have to choose. There are bisexual women that choose women. There are bisexual women that choose men. That is their no. The question is, is the question is, is we have to move on to the next question. There's five more questions. Oh, okay. More questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So fuck it. Let's stick with this lesbian topic. Okay. So I've been seeing a lot of conversations on TikTok about our studs only black. Because I saw one girl, she was like, oh, I'm a bisexual stud. I'm like, what? but people are saying studs are lesbian. They're masculine lesbians. So maybe she's a tomboy. I don't know. But then there's also like, there's all these white girls like, oh, I'm a stud. And you're like, can white girls be studs? I thought I they were butches. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're butch. I so, think we just decided we were yeah. So do, yeah. you think, okay, do you fine. think that black, like stud is exclusive to being black? Or do you think it's just a general term for, for a masculine lesbian? That's a good question. Good question. I just say she a white stud. Yeah. <laughs> but why do you? Oh, she right. a white stud. Why do we have to distinguish uh, that? Right. Like, crazy. Uh, like growing up, I did. I didn't grow around. Grow up around a lot of like gay stuff. Um, a lot of my friends are straight. Most of my friends are straight. Um, so I never really like tried to identify as stud because um, I felt like it put me in a box or put me in a label, even though I. I, I felt more like a cross dresser than anything. I know that, like, I know that sounds funny, but it was the, it was the truth because yeah. I felt like I didn't like what I saw. What a stud was, I felt like I felt like I don't carry myself yeah, as I, such. I, I, so I, I feel like I, I mean, I guess that. Don't call me soft. Don't call me soft. Don't call me soft. Don't call me soft. That's what I have. But that's what I have. Yeah. So that's what I have. And 
then I, <laughs> then I know, so yeah, when I was able to like kind of go out um, to different like gay things, then I was just like, oh, okay. But I I've never met a white person. A white what? <laughs> that, 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 that was a stud. Yeah. I mean, I get. I guess they are, but it was just just never talked about. Like we never said, oh yeah, we studs. Like if I got, yeah, like, yeah. if I knew another white masculine person. Yeah, because I, 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 yeah, I, I, I thought I thought stud was like a black term. I thought that was like I thought that was like I thought that was like I thought that was us. It's a word for black people. I think yeah. I think I use butch for white folks. Uh -huh. Stunning <laughs> with the hair. For <laughs> 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 I think it's all relative um, because, I mean, I don't usually use terms to identify people anyway. I just call them by their names yep. and whatever it is. Um, that's a new term for me. I mean, new meaning like 11 years being here because you in, in New York, you're either AG, AG or a fem. Right. You used to be a fem. I was supposed to be aggressive fem. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, which was like kind of where I was. And now I was just like, but I really didn't want to take that term anyway. So... When people like my best friend would try to hook me up, they'd be like, "Well, what is she?" And they'd be like, "Somebody just don't. You can't. There's, there is no." See, I like but that. then they would see me and they'd be like, "Oh, she's a fan of grass. And I'd be like, "Okay." And then some people <laughs> would be like, oh, "She's an AG," and I'm like, "No, I'm never a fan. So um, that's fine." <laughs> um, but not. I mean, shit. I feel like anybody could be a, a stud or whatever the hell you want to call yourself. I mean, for me, I don't think it's it's that. But if but. For the people, if like, you know, we want to <laughs> claim something. <laughs> claiming things like that, that you started. know, yeah, so shit, if we want to claim that, yeah, but I mean, I would call a white person that is masculine presenting a stud if that's how they want it to be called. I wouldn't like take their studness away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy, I'm like, I never looked at it like that. Like, like it's I said, it was a TikTok debate between just. I would people. just say, you know, <laughs> right. like I said, mm -hmm. it's a white stud, a Mexican stud, Asian <laughs> stud, whatever. <laughs> I, I don't use the term butch, but I understand what Simone said. It, to me, it's more like they separate, segregate, and separate yeah. themselves as far as terminology and socially. Mm -hmm. You know, not so much us. I, you know, so I don't really use the term butch, but. I, they call themselves butch, you know. Mm -hmm. so. Lynette, um, I think that they, I think that we, that's our term, for the most part. <laughs> I think that when yeah. we call a an other, or even white person that is a stud, it's because they dress like black people. Like, you know what I mean? Like a third, you'd be like, oh yeah, that's a bush for sure. For They're sure. around like a plaid shirt. That's or a masculine <laughs> female. Right. That's great. Really but when you like, but you know what I'm saying? But like if you dress in like like I assume that black people dress, like you'd be like, oh that's a stud. That's yeah. Especially in LA, because we definitely have all the races of studs. Like, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> for yeah, sure, that's why you gotta <laughs> then that's why she has a different yeah. Shelly. Shelly. Or like, you know. I, I think it's language again for me. Uh I I remember the first time I was called a stud, asked if I was a stud, and I was like, I, I don't know. <laughs> Should I be? Like, I was like, <laughs> and it was just because I was, you know, I always dressed in basketball clothes because I played basketball. So mm -hmm. I think, um, uh, you know, for me, uh, being a stud, I always associated with black people. I didn't even know it was a difference. I didn't even know what I called other people. Like, I like the way you said other. Um, I don't like. I don't know what I call the others, <laughs> but I, I, when I said stud, I thought of black people. I thought of that. So yeah, I, I, I didn't know they had strong. Too. Gary, yeah, yeah, stud. Yeah. Um, I think yeah, stud. When I think of a stud, I think of a black stud or a Hispanic stud. Okay. I don't tend to think of white girls as studs. I mean, I guess. It's just never talked about. I guess like, they're butches, as far as I'm concerned. Like, what well, I want to say about butches. I'm going to call in this moment. Go ahead. You guys know who Rachel Maddow is? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is Rachel Maddow a stud? No. No, not at all. Not at all. We rest our hands. It's also not a stud. It's Ellen is not a stud. Ellen is. She's not all the black people. Exactly. And it's. I don't know what people think. That's just like your face. She said we call them dykes. Right. Everybody else. Growing up, we hijacked. We're all dykes. You, 
The term is hijacked anyway. If you like, like Sony said, if you were a certain age, if you can remember, a stud was a term for white men. Yeah, that was yeah. with a stud. Well, yeah. He's such a stud. Yeah, that's what that was. You know, right. so I don't know when we got it. I like that we but... took that though. That's. They take our shit with you too. Right. I mean, right. Yeah, I, I never. Because it was stud that. and hunk. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I get, yep, yep. I get a lot of comments on Let's Factor like you've never cast a stud ever, and I'd be like, what? What you mean? They'd be like, ne I've heard they never. I'm like. I cast women who are lesbians, so are there women who know that they're women? Like, if they're masculine, feminine, whatever, I guess they're looking for, like, I don't know, to be wearing, like, I don't know, some Stacey Adams or something. I have no idea. <laughs> but that means, like, Aaron, you never cast any studs. But I do feel yeah, like right. when I think of stud, I have a, a clear vision of what a stud looks like. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could tell if somebody is, like, presenting as a stud or not. We're in our community, right? And we have all this chaos in our community about what we call ourselves, even though we started not calling each other nothing, right? But we just gay and lesbian, whatever, right? Mm. But it's like, if we're going around the room, right? Stud, 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 stud. <laughs> I'm a nothing. I'm well, not. You're a motherfucking stud. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm talking about right, so, people. Y'all said that we're the studs in the room. Wait, wait, I'm the stud. If they encounter you on the street, you're the stud. I would say you a stud. I am. I'm an AG for sure. I'm an AG. You straight up AG. I'm an AG. And when I tell you, different ag but here's what i'm trying to say if you if you encounter someone on the street it's like that because it's with us it's like whoever you are is who you are but this the world is encountering you right so it's like oh that's a stud that's a stud that's yeah a stud. that's true because so everyone it's else open, is male female it's open to interpretation you know? yeah it is so we're gonna keep from the last question somebody also asked it was a former cast member they were like they were dating somebody who said they were a lesbian but they just finished dating a guy so like if you <laughs> leave the community, date a guy, then come back, are you still a lesbian? No. <laughs> That's just being no, mean. No, you <laughs> fine. Let's what go this way. Like some type of crisis or something. Pause for the, the cause, Gary. A crisis. Like or you know. Pause for the cause, Gary. Okay, wait. What? Say it again. <laughs> are they still a lesbian? They were recently dating a guy and they came back after. To me, no. No. Well, okay. No. But I only can use myself as a reference. Like I would not. Who you're dating to me is a very big indication on what and who you are. So okay. I am a lesbian. I'm only you're only gonna see me with bitches. You're not gonna see me <laughs> with men. So well, I mean I'm married, but you know, before. So I I don't know. It's like when you it's just kind of like when you do like with the whole stud thing. Like if you date someone that presents himself as a stud, but they're not really a stud, then you pick them up and they have on a dress. So it's like I'm. I need somebody to be consistent with me. Is what I'm saying. So they're not okay. So they're not a lesbian. No. Do so you lesbian. think if somebody just recently dated a guy, came back into the fold, are they still can they still call themselves a lesbian? Well, seeing as though I always date those women. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> those are the ones I usually end up with. I don't know why. That's why um, stop picking them. You're not asking that question on the first date, like she said. I I I already know the truth. <laughs> um, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> um. I think I like I said it's just like experimental. A lot of it is just people trying to find themselves. So, but if if you're trying to be labeled or categorized, no. And in that category because of the experiments, that you you can't be technically a lesbian. So, are how, they how long can people experiment? Yeah, are they experiments? Yeah, because you're trying to That's see like you're trying to see what you like, right? Lynette, you're, you're, you're trying really you tell me. Wait. Oh. Lynette, yeah, that's I just feel like it's all in the moment. The same situation that we've talked about already. Like, okay, when you, if you go, if you don't like, if you don't want to date bisexual, and you're clear, I don't date no bisexual. It's not a okay, let's just say, let's just, let's just speak in this hypothetical. Because I'm telling you, people be saying things because they, you are attracted to somebody, you want to say those things, like, but it's the honesty that's, that's absent in the situation. <laughs> like, it's like, you want to date this person, they know you don't like bisexual. And then you say, are you a lesbian? Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm a lesbian. Cause I'm like girls right now. <laughs> I'm like girls right now. I'm into girls, that's what I'm focused on right now. And they're gonna tell you that. But is that the truth? Um, no, it's not the truth. The truth is- So they're I'm not a lesbian. lesbian. That's the answer to the question is they're not. Uh, they're a bisexual, which Thank is you. in that Thank whole you. long yeah. ass- Okay, yeah, but we're not talking definition. about the, we're not talking about the second letter in the LGBT. We're talking about the first fucking letter right. in the LGBT. That's what I'm saying, but, you, but if you're asking somebody, are you a lesbian? 
and they don't really even know themselves like that or like you know what i'm saying enough to say like nah for real, this is who i am like or even be a pansexual or like oh, even boy. being the cute you gotta know you're the cute before like you get to the cute at the end okay you're like i don't even know if i'm the cute yet right okay. but i, but you like, I tried it. got it <laughs> grammy i was the l i was the g i was the t <laughs> i tried everything i'm all cute right Hold now Hold on, Brandy. no no not a lesbian no, no. Not a lesbian. no. no. one word answer um, I'm gonna say that now they're the cute. <laughs> That's where they are. And yeah, they're anything the cute. under that, you can be whatever, but lesbian only? No. Mm -hmm. Simone? Lesbian only? No. No. Hell no. So. <laughs> so that is the answer. So no Former cast answer. member. The answer is no. Answer is no. All right. Answer. Somebody said, I feel like lesbian relationships ain't shit. No one lasts. What is the longest relationship you've been in or know about? And I don't mean been together three years, broke up for two years, couldn't find anybody better. Now we're celebrating five years. Like what? what? <laughs> so what is the longest relationship you've been in and the longest relationship you, you know of, Gary? The longest relationship I've been in was 10 years. Oh, I remember that one. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the longest relationship I know of is 10 years. <laughs> Shelly? Yeah, I was in an eight year relationship. Are they a lesbian? <laughs> but the, those are the those are the women I end up with. Like I don't know. Um, so no. But the longest I know of is twelve. Oh, okay. Lynette. Uh, my longest is two and a half years. So I guess two two years of possible three years. Right. <laughs> uh, and the longest relationship game which which one is I think. Um. Maybe about seven years. Oh. Randy? Seven years for myself. And I've known some lesbians that have been together for a long time, but I couldn't I couldn't tell you the number. I really don't like know. over seven? Oh yeah, for sure. Like um shit, probably twenty years. Um oh, nice. Roz. Yeah. Roz. Roz, Roz, Roz. Roz and her wife. Oh. They've been together for a long, long time. You know, Michelle's partner oh, Roz. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Misty, yeah, Roz and Misty. They've been together for a really long, long time. Sony? Sad. Um Sony. <laughs> right. Um, been in an eleven year relationship. Oh, okay. And the longest I know is probably on the twenty year. I was count they they were going on fourteen and then they're in Amsterdam, so I don't really follow like <laughs> how long they've been going, but it's probably about twenty years. Like they're okay. strong. So yeah, out there, Simone. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it'd be like two and a half years, um, and then Roz and Misty. So they've been together forever. Mm -hmm. forever. Bro, longest one you've been in? Mm, say two and a possible. What? What? what is that? Was it the other whole time? Oh, now y'all gonna come at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. It was the way I answered the question. That is I, correct. Okay. Who uh, answered the question with a question mark? Right. Um, <laughs> like spades, two and a possible. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Three. Three for myself. Oh, three for myself. And, she uh, added it. She so added it. She added it. She added it. I was trying to be funny at first, and then y'all got too serious. <laughs> I was like, okay, she I'm serious She must be. She's going to watch it. Uh, but, yeah, and uh, the longest um, relationships that I know of, I'll, I'll say 10 plus. I know a few of them. I was in a relationship. I'll say the longest I was in was like five. Mm. And the longest I know of, I don't know that I know them though. It was a security <laughs> guard at my job. And she said she'd been with her girlfriend since they were 18 in high school. And they had been together 20 years. Wow. And amazing. I was like, damn, y'all made it. Because <laughs> I know so many people, like, people be like, oh, we were together. And I've seen couples break up. They go out to the dating world. They can't find nobody better. They and then they get back, back together. Yeah. Be like, happy 10 year. I'm like, no, y'all starting over from zero. Yeah. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Y'all yeah. like, are a motherfucking lie. Yeah. <laughs> they can't struggle together. They can't figure they it out. They didn't struggle together. That's the problem. They were struggling no. apart. Mm -hmm. Once you split, that's it. Then you come back, you restart. So, you restart, you don't yeah. go back. No, I don't keep. No, nah, if you're not separated or something, because I was married and I was separated. So mm -hmm. I'm still on count that because we were that time. Right. But if we were not married and we broke up, like when we weren't married and we broke up for a year, that year don't count, right. you know. I mean, cause we were both doing work, we weren't together. But, so, the, but the three and the seven will make ten. <laughs> even, even if there was a two in the in between, <laughs> if we were separated like, but attracted. But you said y'all were going to marry her. Where did we like, just go? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, like that's not you know what I'm saying. I feel like you can't. You, you get the count.
count that experience. If you, were two, like, if you were broken up with someone for two years, but you had seven, and then you got back together, and you're three, and now you're married, and you're like, can't you celebrate ten? Nah. No. No. Two years is a long ass You can celebrate ten. You can celebrate seven. 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 Season six, episode one, with all our new faces. Make sure you subscribe and join us next time. All the problems you be bringing, fuck them, dodge them, duck them, shake them, I can't take them. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to play the villain. I'ma keep this egg, I keep the shit a million. Must admit we lost the love and feeling. Now you want that old thing back. Adios, bye bye, bye bye. Sayonara. Arriba Dirce Don't ask why you need a hurt ya Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye